Okay, what I'm trying to do with this transformer is make a spot welder. I'm going to cut this secondary winding off and then use this, this thicker wire to make the secondary. What that's going to do instead of hack giving high voltage, no amp or hardly any amperage with this secondary, it's going to give you low voltage and high amperage with this secondary. But the first thing I got to do is cut all this off and get it to where the only wind again here is this one. I'm going to do it with a sawzall. You can do it with a hacksaw, uh, which I try to do. But as you can see, you can, you'll be there all day. Saws all would work better. Just depends on your resources and how much time you got. If you are going to use a sawzall, um, take your time, cut down to what you think is low enough, and then use a saw, uh, a hand saw for the rest because you don't want to damage that coil that's up underneath it. You're going to need that primary. So be real careful if you are going to use a sawzall. It's real easy to get ahead of yourself and tear up the whole transformer. All right, I've successfully cut the secondary winding on both sides. Now what I'm gonna have to do is take a screwdriver and push this through. Now it's glued together on all sides uh, when laminate. So this might be a time consuming job. I'll let you know when I'm done. Got some really thick wire to put in here. So what I'm going to do is remove the metal that's in between these two, called shunts, I believe is what they're called. I'm going to remove all that, give some more room for my wire to go through. I took a lot of the shunt out, probably a quarter inch of it. I didn't want to take no more than that because I didn't want to hurt that primary transformer down there. So now what I'm going to do is try to install the secondary. I got two gauge wire. And then two slash zero gauge wire, and I think that might be aught gauge. But uh, I'd like to get the aught gauge in there first, just for the secondary. If I can, I'll go with the two gauge. Okay, I've got two turns of the two gauge on there. Um, primary at the bottom, the secondary at the top. So we're going to put some power to this and see how many volts we got coming out this side. Um, the aught gauge wire, as you can see, is a lot bigger. I'm gonna try one of these, but what that's gonna entail is cutting the top off and then winding this wire over it. It would be impossible to, to shape this wire to fold through there twice with it closed like this. Um, Maybe not impossible, but you would have to have pipe benders or some form to some way to form the wire that I, I just don't have right now. I don't have the resources to do that right now, so maybe this will work just as good. All right, I'm testing a primary. I've got 123 volts. That's from the primary side. I'm testing the secondary now. Uh, about two volts. So it's definitely doing its job. 